now we are going to uh, study splay trees splay trees is another map or uh, set implementation for storing keys or key value pairs and we can perform the functions insert remove and find and uh, if you can recall in rbt that is uh, red dag trees uh, the cost of inserting finding and removing uh, is big O of M log N. Uh, in the case of splay trees, the worst case scenario is big O of N. However, uh, they like the splay, splay trees guarantee that if you do M operations on the splay tree with N elements, the total amortized cost comes out to be big O of M log N. They have a further benefit that recently accessed al elements will be near the top of the tree. In fact, the most recently accessed element is always at the top of the tree. Uh, now let's move on to the splay operation. Splay means uh, spread. As you search for an item or after you insert an item, we will perform a series of splay operations. and. These operations will cause the desired node to always end up at the top of the tree. A desirable side effect is that accessing a key multiple times within a short time window will yield fast searches because it will be near the top. So uh, the root is currently at the top and if we uh, search for or insert T then T becomes a new root and the old root ends uh, in the level 1 or level 2 of the tree. So the root was also recently accessed and as we can see it is quite near the root as well. Now uh, this is based on the principle of locality where uh, there are two dimensions of, uh, of this principle that is space and time. Spatial locality uh, says that the future accesses will likely cluster near current addresses and uh, like instructions and data arrays are sequential. They are uh, all one after the next. And uh, in the time, uh, there are temp there is tempor temporal locality. That is, future accesses will likely be the recently accessed items. Same code and data uh, are repeatedly accessed in lo loops and subroutines. And the 90-10 rule analysis shows that usually 10% of the written instructions account for 90% uh, of the executed instructions. Splay trees uh, exploit temporal locality by guaranteeing that the recently accessed element nears the top of the tree. Now, uh, the trees uh, are self-adjusting and they uh, use rotation to attempt to balance themselves. So after uh, many operations, the the tree starts looking more and more balanced. Uh, in the case, in the worst case scenario, suppose you want to take the amortized time, average time over multiple calls to find, insert, and remove. You might uh, and you want to access the deepest element every time. Uh, and you might think the cost will be high, as high as pick of n for each operation. But as it turns out, splay trees have a property that as we keep accessing deep nodes, the tree starts to balance and thus access to deep nodes starts costing uh, from big O of n, it starts costing big O of log n. And this is a very big improvement. Now, uh, the operations supported by the splay trees are insert and insert op uh, uh, happens normally uh, as normally in BST that is binary search tree insert and then we splay x. For the x node which is add, added, we splay it. Uh, in case of find operation, uh, we attempt normal BST find and splay the last node visited. If x is in the tree, then we splay x. If it is not in the tree, we splay the leaf node where our 
search ended now uh, moving on to the next operation find min and find max so uh, walk to far left or right of tree and return the node's value and then display that node now moving on to delete min and delete max we perform uh, find minimum and find maximum which place the minimum or maximum to the root and then delete that node and set the root to be the non null child of the minimum or the maximum which we have fi found now uh, the remove x find x splay x to the top and then overwrite its value with its successor or predecessor subsequently deleting the successor or the predecessor node there is also a top down splaying uh, rather than walking down the tree to first find the value and then splaying back up we can splay on the way down we will be pruning the big trees into smaller and smaller trees as we walk cutting off unused pathways so uh this is the sum uh, summary splay trees don't enforce a balance but are self adjusting to attempt to yield a balanced tree splay trees provide efficient amortized time a single operation may take big o of n m operation on tree with n elements cost big o of m log n uh, uses rotation to attempt balance and provides fast access to recently used